Hey everyone, welcome back. Here's 9 basic effects inside DaVinci Resolve. Let's get started. I'm selecting my media and placing the playhead in the beginning of the timeline. Then I'm going to the specter in the corping area. And I'm setting a keyframe of corping top and corping bottom on values of 0. Then I'm moving my playhead further in the timeline around here. And I'm going back to the inspector on the same values. This time I'm changing them to about 150 for corping top and corping bottom. And now when I play it through, you can see that I'm having this slowly animated black bars coming up. Move your playhead on the place that you want this freeze frame to begin. Right click on the clip, change clip speed and then freeze frame. And then everything after this playhead is gonna be freezed. And another way to freeze the frame if you want to use it in an inner part of the video, not just the end of it. You can go somewhere around the middle, make a cut so that you're having just one frame. Then you can take this one frame, you can right click on it, change speed again and freeze it. And then you're free to stretch it out as much as you want. And now I successfully freeze the frame just in the middle part of that video. For this picture framing we're gonna use the freeze frame that we just learned how to do it. You just need to freeze this second part by right clicking change clip speed and freezing the frame. Now that this second part is freezed I need to add a generator which is a solid color. I'm leaving it with the same length of that freeze frame on the top of it and then I'm changing the color of my liking in my case I'm making it white because I want to make borders white and then I'm switching positions with the video clip leaving the solid color under it then I highlight the video clip which is freezed and I go to the inspector and I'm taking values of zoom a little bit down that way I can have a little bit of border then I'm highlighting both of them and I'm making new compound clip that way they are gonna stay together then I select this transform icon and I'm shrinking it down of my liking to make it look more like a picture. Also, I'm tilting it a little bit to the side. Then take this compound clip, leave it on video slot number two and expand the first one. Then make a cut on the first one when the second one is beginning, just so you can add a bright flash in between. Take down the duration of the transition and this is what you're gonna have. I know many beginners when they try to adjust the volume of the audio, they are just gonna make some cuts somewhere, go to the inspector and while still highlighted they are gonna increase or decrease the volume so they are gonna have a different volume on the second part. But there is actually a way that you can keyframe that volume without needing to cut any of the audio. So basically you can go in the beginning of that audio, select the keyframe of the volume and then for example move forward in the timeline, then change the values of that volume of your liking, it doesn't matter. And then you can go even forward, change the values of the volume again and you can see that it's gonna be smoothly transitioning into the the next audio levels and this is just an example and this is how you can use audio keyframing to make smooth transitions in between audio levels. For this effect you just need to get a text plus, leave it over your video footage, then highlight it and then go to the inspector. Of course you can set up your font of your liking, size and etc. To add the shadows you need to go to shading, then go to the page number 3 and where it says enable shadow, you want to click on enable. And that way you're gonna have a black shadow on your text. I'm gonna zoom in so you can see it clearly. And if you wanna take it off, you can go again to shading and on page number three, just disable the shadow or enable if you want. For this effect, you need to go to effects library, titles and other scroll. You can leave it after your video is finished. Then you can highlight it, close the effects tab, go to the inspector. You can set here your end screen I'm gonna paste some example here and when you're ready with your text you can go down and you can pick your font below that you can center everything by pressing here and from here you can adjust the size of your liking and now when I play it through you can see that I'm having end screen with some credits if you want to make this end screen slower you just need to expand the scroll text and when I play it through you can see that this time it is slower than the default settings so if you want to export just a portion of your video, not everything, you need to go to the deliver tab of course. And here everything that is highlighted on the timeline is gonna be exported. Right now it's gonna export the entire timeline. So you're gonna select in and out range and then move these dots to show DaVinci which part you want to export. And then of course you can add it to render queue and render it. For this one, you go to effects library, titles and then select the text or text plus, it doesn't matter. Then you can add the text of your liking, go to the settings in the inspector while still highlighted, 
In this example, I'm gonna make it go from left to right while holding the middle position. So I'm moving the X values to make it outside. Then I'm creating a keyframe by clicking here. And I'm moving further in the timeline around here. And then I'm going back to the inspector and I'm creating another keyframe, but this time with values while the text is in the middle. Then I'm moving again a little bit further in the timeline and I'm gonna make the third point, which is gonna be the end point of the steady position. And then I'm moving to the end of that text on the very last frame and I'm changing the values of position X this time until it disappear on the right side. And now when I play through, you can see that I'm having a sliding text while holding middle position for about 2 seconds and then disappearing from the right side. For the last effect you need to go to effects library, titles and other text plus over your timeline. And while you're still in the effects library, go to open effects and type camera shake, drag it and drop it over your text plus and this is the default settings. You can highlight your text plus, go to the inspector and then go to effects and there are a lot of things that you can do here but if you are a beginner I mostly suggest you play with motion scale and speed scale and I know all this was a very basic effect but I hope it was useful you can also watch this video right here I'm showing more effects inside DaVinci Resolve thanks for watching and see you in the next one